Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. I've just started the episode because I wanted to do a Tarnished Maggie Greed mode, but you can't select Greed mode. Oh, oh wait, okay. No, I see. I think I've got to select it first and then select the Tarnished character. Okay. Dilemma diverted. Averted? Diverted? No. D it's probably... I, I meant to say averted, but it's probably just been diverted. It's probably just going to come at another point today. This just isn't the dilemma that I was planning on having today. I've got another dilemma coming, don't worry. Okay, so we started in a... What? what, what? Okay. I'm intrigued to see how this, this character ends up stacking up on this mode. Oh. And we get pride as well. Booyah. If we can unbreak his AI, which is kind of hard to do, he'll be pretty useful. Sometimes his AI do be breaking. Um, a sim yeah, do you know what? Honestly, let's just, let's just buy brunch once we can. So yeah, we can cardiac arrest here. Um, cardiac arrest and grab all the hearts. So honestly, he's doing a good job right now. Best thing about him though, you all know and love that he's got... Those lovely, lovely, beautiful rainbow tears, which we all love so much. We all love so much. And for the question of the day today, what's something that you think that in today's day and age is excessive? You think people do too much or you see too much? What's something that you just, you just like, can't stand seeing and you see all the time? Because there are so many things like this. Also, still really am a little unsure how this character works. I did, as per a few people's suggestion, watch the Slay video on this character to try and understand it a little better. Um, basically, from what I understand, we have this bleed meter here. And when that bleed meter gets too low... Oh my god, I'm getting really annoyed with this jumpy little shithead. Die! Okay, there you go. Um, once this bleed meter gets too low, we start taking damage. We can try and fill it up to gain heart containers. And that sort of jazz. It's it's an interesting old mechanic with this. But Devil Deals are really good as this character. So I'm going to be taking Devil Deals. Um, as I've been told that I should. And yeah, we'll see how this works. We'll see how this works. But yeah, we got to try and make sure we don't lose too much of our bleed meter here. Because otherwise we will eventually bleed out. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the best way to achieve that. But I'm going to try my best. I need to be picking up, I think it's three hearts per... I think. Three hats per kill for it to be, like, worth my time sort of thing. Okay, good. Pop in here. Buy brunch, just because it's cheap. Buy latch key, because it's keys. And buy range, because it's range. Why not? PJs would be pretty cool. If we can afford it. Okay. Tammy's head's pretty decent, honestly, here. But you can see our meter's going down, like, real quick right now. Yeah, that was, a, that was a very good grab on all of those. Honestly, this is a very good boss for this character, I think. Because you're going to get a lot of... Uh, ah! A lot and a lot of hearts flying out. But I'm, I seem to be constantly at 14. I can't seem to get past 14. There you go. I got to a new heart container now. And now I don't have any bleed meter. Okay, I did actually manage to stop the next wave from coming in by accident then. That was pretty nice. So do I not want to be using my thing now until I want more hearts? Or is is Cardiac Arrest something I should be using all the time or not? It's basically where I'm at with this. Um, What was in here? Oh, it was PJs. Yeah, we'll take PJs. Why not? Seven cent. Why not grab it for some extra soul heart health? Didn't do a great job there, but that's fine. Also, uh, Cardiac Arrest triggers on-hit effects with this character. So, like playing as Tainted Maggie, you really want to be taking on-hit effects as much as you can. Also, Pride did indeed break again. It's just, unfortunately, a fact of life with this guy. Yeah, we're doing okay. It's going to be a little bit of a learning process with this fella. We'll see how we go. Devil deals are definitely better for this character. I will take this. I will take this. Do not like you, stupid hand. Good, good, good. 
Okay, and away we go to the next floor. Have we been to our item room? We definitely have. We got, uh, what do we get out of item room? I don't remember. Oh, Tammy's head, of course. I'm literally holding it. You goober. Um, we're going to go straight down. We're not going to do alt path now because we're, we're, we're working mechanics out. We're, we're testing things. We're seeing how it's going. We're seeing how it's going. We got, our, we got our ability to get into our item room, so straight away here. Quad shot, pretty interesting, I'll take it. Stapler, you just bashed me straight out the room again. Stapler's also really good here, I like that. Also, we have a challenge room here that I might want to partake in. Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> I, would say, I said might, and then immediately no. Uh, I'll probably buy the screw here. Screw seems pretty good. Um, honestly, I think Tammy's head's going to be absolutely slapping. I did mean to use my uh, my thingy there. I keep thinking my pride is an enemy and it's not stupid of me. That was lovely. Yeah, Tammy's head's actually really good on this mode because we get a charge every single wave. Yeah, we definitely need that, that screw for the fire rate up the... Because that's definitely lacking right now. You little fat boys with your little explosions. Ah! <laughs> I made a really gaily noise then, but I stand by it. There's no such thing as gaily noises. If a man wants to make a noise, he can make a noise. Um, I really like the, the resprite of the mushrooms. Really cool. Probably going to get hit by one of these guys. It's been a while since I've done my cardiac arrest thing here. Not a great enemy to do it against, to be honest. But created some creep, which kind of works in our favor. Grab this. Good stuff. We'll see what we can get done here. Again, this is another good boss to kind of wait until a few flies are spawned and then go for it. That wasn't a great haul, but it wasn't terrible. See what our next boss ends up being. Yeah, super interesting character. Definitely a little bit hard to, like, get a grips on, in my opinion. Definitely a little bit difficult. But I'm getting there. I think I need more movement speed to make this character really good. Because I know you get movement speed when you use Cardiac Arrest, but it's still not perfect. I'd like to have a lot more than I get. We are at a bleed factor of 11 now. I don't know if, if that's okay or not. I'm just going to take this guy out, I think. I'm not going to bother with uh, trying to utilize my cardiac arrest. He's going to do lots of shooting at me, but he's actually fairly easy to dodge regardless of how many shots he fires. He is now doing his big little jumpy jumps, though. That does hit me. Okay, now, now you're just being annoying, sir. You're in a really rough spot, and I'm having a really hard time killing you. If you could just, there you go, die, that'd be great. Good, good. Not too bad. Devil deal once again, of course. Um, honestly, I'm taking both of these. Good, good. And we'll see if there's anything else we want to buy. I'm not 100% sure if there is. Nah, I'll take a half price key. Uh, do you know what? Do you know what? Let's let's bomb here and bomb here. Just to see. Yeah, see, this was worth it. And that's also worth it. And that would be worth it if I had the money, so let's grab it. Ah, balls. I tried. I tried. I tried. I do like my multicolored nails here. That's pretty fun. Right, down we go. Okay. Run's getting interesting. We've got some sauce going on. We've got some sauce. I like sauce. Guess the blind here is going to be a little bit annoying for the shop. Dead eyes, very good. That's actually fine because we got it late. We got most of our heart containers back already without the need of cardiac arrest at all. So I think I got it. I think when I'm doing okay and I, I have enough HP, I want to be holding off using cardiac arrest until I get hit. And, and like in situations like now, now I'm bleeding out, so I want to start using it again. I think that's sort of the best way to go about it. 
if I'm thinking about this correctly. Okay. Got you as well. And I want to try and pick up as many hearts as I can. I've, I've now got a pretty good speed boost going, so it's not that hard to pick up more stuff. Ah, see, that was a lot. That was a lot and a lot. Lovely. Okay, now it's boss time. Annoying boss at that. Easy boss, though. Very easy boss indeed. Annoying boss again. Cardiac arrest here, see how that goes. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard to know when to use it. If anyone has like a bit more of an advanced sort of idea of how this character should be played, let me know. Because yeah, I watched the Slayer video and I, I definitely understand it more than I did, but I still don't really understand like when it's best to use things. Like, is it best to just spam Cardiac arrest all the time? Or is it best to sort of savor it and use it when you need it? I feel like it's something you should just spam all the time, but that seems to be what got me killed last time I played as this character, so I really couldn't say. Yeah, you're gonna hit me, but we don't really care about being hit here, so. With a devil deal to go at. Unfortunately, we don't know the item. Frank Cookie's really good. Frank Cookie's uh, random tier effects from Fiend Folio, I believe. It's pretty decent for us. Items, honestly, don't even bother with the shop. We've got a good amount of money. Might as well just take it to the next floor. Let's just go. Right, in here. Oh, we don't have a key right now. Halo's really good. We'll take that. And we'll pop in here. Candle is unfortunately completely broken. I'm just not going to take it. Huge tears up is pretty nice here. Oh, it's not a huge tears up to be fair, but for um, quad shot, it's pretty huge. Good. Okay, this is a good situation to wait and then pop this. Didn't actually work the way I was hoping it would, but there you go. Can we need to get up to 23 here, so let's try and do that. I think it costs two to use it. Yeah, we're definitely climbing. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We got to the next heart. Lovely. It's all about managing it, I guess. It's just hard to manage it. Hard to know how to manage it, at least. Wow. The fucking... You hold Tammy's head above your head way too long. There is a mod that actually fixes that. I should probably go get that at some point. It's just always annoying to bloat your item list with stuff that's only going to be, like, important every now and again. Good, good. Ow. Ow. Get over here. And onto our boss fight. Pretty easy one. I'm liking the different tier effects plus um, having quad shot and dead eye. It's really nice. Although I will say, I feel like we're getting the same tier effect all the time here. I don't know what this one is, but it's always the one that we have. Okay, so this hits more than one segment. That wasn't a very successful usage of it, I'll admit. Honestly, you're a boss that I hate, so please just die. Yeah, he did. Good for you, sir. Good for you. Oh, we got an Isaac's Heart fight here. Isaac's Heart. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. This ain't no Isaac's Heart. Okay, we're on minus six now. I'm trying to keep an eye on the counter just to sort of keep track of how it works in my head. Still not really getting it. 
Nine lives is unfortunately not very good. Unfortunately, neither of these are worth taking. Actually, thinking about it, nine lives is probably really good. I probably should have just taken it. Um, in fact, it's it's a really big shame I didn't take nine lives. I should have thought about that for like half a second longer, and I would have realized that nine lives is actually kind of amazing. Um, Dr. Fetus, I will take that. Thank you. Ooh, with the void bombs as well. I like this. I was like, I, I was thinking, like, I do have a bomb upgrade, don't I? But I couldn't remember which one it was. Yeah, it would have been good because it would have been easy to regain all the heart containers, to be honest. Right, so we're at minus one now. That's kind of good. What happens when we reach, when this bar goes down? Okay, nothing. It just goes to zero. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. Um, I will say that Tammy's head is less so useful now. Especially considering we have quad shot and we're already firing a ton of bombs. Well, this is an interesting run that we've crafted here. Honestly, the Void Bombs are just so unbelievably good. We're going to be creating just a ton of Locusts here. And I love that. I'm going to be on the lookout, on the prowl for bomb upgrades. It's actually kind of good just to use that for one, because the multicoloredness of it all looks pretty good. But they all evenly spread around me, so I can actually do a pretty good job of not getting hit by it. And regardless if they hit enemies or not, they all create Locusts. So... They're pretty good in that regard anyways. Yeah, this is actually pretty awesome. I like the multicoloredness of it all the most, though. Wow. <clears throat> good stuff. Okay, yeah, we are wrecking the place up now. Holy shit. Our bombs are doing such the same damage. Another devil deal for us here. I doubt these matter, but I'll take them anyways. Remember that as a modded character, we can't donate, so we might as well just buy stuff. Um, gives me another 15 back. This could be very interesting. <laughs> That could make it even more interesting. And then let's just do that. Sun Bond doesn't do anything for us, I don't think. Right, we're going to leave. This is going to be so hectic. Like, the amount of bombs that Tammy's head is going to fire now is going to be ludicrous. Like, legitimately so dangerous for our own health. Just so unbelievably unsafe. It's going to be hilarious. Okay, so that time it fired a normal amount, but sometimes it's going to fire extras. And also we're going to be able to fire it multiple times per wave. Maybe the bombs are just overlapped on top of each other with the electric dice. That's certainly plausible. But it's going to, it's going to make Tammy's head a lot better for the boss fight later on, is sort of my thinking here. It, it, they must just be layered on top of each other, because it should be that it's firing more bombs every now and again, but it's not. Ow, there's a blue fire right there. Rude. Honestly, use the gimmick of this character to just give myself a ton of hearts, and then stop using the gimmick. my locusts to do their job. Ah, oh, bugger. I forgot what boss this was for a minute there. My bad. 
Tried to damage him and realized I couldn't. Okay, nice. We got through him. Okay, I'm starting to lose red heart health now because of my cardiac arrest. So I need to be careful. Ow. Okay. Not what I wanted to see, really, but there you go. Lumber Call is kind of nice, though. Right. Give me that. Give me that. I would also like that if I can get it. Sadly, I'm not... It's not looking super plausible. Huzzah! Now that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Okay, good amount of hearts. Let's get rolling. This should be a fairly, fairly simple kill on this guy. I would imagine. Well, that was fairly simple on that guy, so there you go. Right, first of all, let the locusts do their job. It's going to be hard to not get hit by my own bombs, I'll admit. Because I've got to stand, like, not too close, but not too far away from him. firing. I, for some reason, used cardiac arrest there and nothing happened, so not quite sure what to say about that. Okay, one minute. This might be great. It was great. Okay, we got him. That was awesome. <laughs> what a run that was. Holy hell. Anyways, this will just jam straight away. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.